the Bob Maloney from MyMMANews.com, and I am in the back room over here in Northeast Philadelphia at Martinez BJJ. Now, Will Martinez, who is the head coach and owner here, his fight team right now is just tearing it up. Philly MMA all over the place has been racking up win after win. Coming up on April 1st, we have Patrick the Brick Brady, heavyweight, making his second professional appearance. He's in the main event at Art of War, Cage Fighting 22. And the following night on a back-to-back -back show, Art of War 23, we have Matt White Chocolate Turnbull fighting in the main event. And also, the Dawkus brothers train here, both UFC fighters. Currently, Chris, the heavyweight, is a top 10 ranked in the world. And on March 26th, he's fighting Curtis Blades in his second consecutive main event. But we're here to talk to Kyle tonight. Kyle, at UFC Vegas 48 this past weekend, he got his 11th professional win. And the thing that was striking about that is out of his 11 professional wins, six of them have come via the Darce Choke. So we're here to see Kyle talk about his win and get a little tutorial technique of the week on the Darce Choke. So let's check out and see what these guys are up to. All right, here we go. We got Pat, the Brick Brady. We got Kyle Dawkus, and we got Will Martinez. Will is going to kind of narrate this for us. Kyle is going to give us a little technique of the week or a tutorial on the Darce Choke. Like I said, six out of his 11 victories have come via the Darce Choke. So here we go. You want to start with the stand-up and see how you work this, Kyle? Yeah, we'll just start from half Okay. Yeah, narrate, you narrate. I'll narrate. You narrate. No, you, you do. I'll just you follow narrate. through. So he's in, he's in half guard right now, obviously. This is... Uh, one of the favorable positions to get it. So Kyle uses his striking to get Pat to turn on his side, right? As soon as Pat turns on his side, he starts to control the arm. Yeah, so he starts to control the arm, brings his head close from behind, and starts to close up the darts. See it? But so, I'm yeah. gonna switch my grip sideways. So I'm gonna drop my, I'm gonna drop my right hip, right, and then shoot my right arm through. And I lock my hand. In this position, I'm just gonna crunch his chin down to his neck and then just slide my arm up. Now, my now, Will, as what Pat, what is his, his, what does he have to do to try to, you know, to defend this? Is there, is there, once he's locked up, what is. So, so Pat can control, he can keep himself safe somewhat because he, he still has the underhook on that side. Uh, but he, he needs to be careful because once uh, uh, Kyle sprawls, like what he did in the fight, now he drops all the pressure on the back of the head and, and, and m makes the chokes tighter, which doesn't even matter if he has the underhook. So Pat needs to somehow bring Kyle's body back across so that he can create some space. See it? To either break the grip or start to cause the position to change. Which is really difficult to do when it's locked in, but that's that's one of the ways to do it when it's locked in, uh, and and that's what he used to submit uh, his last opponent was the same setup from half guard. I think Dominic Cruz said uh, that it was too hard to get, but well, I guess he's wrong, right? <laughs> there you go. So uh, it can start from the half guard. Once he has the half guard and he sprawls out, he creates the distance and pressure he needs on the neck. See it? So he's in half guard right now. And then once the hands are locked in, he drops his shoulder and weight on the neck and then sprawls out to create the same position from top. And that's what he used to submit his last opponent. Boom. All his opponents. All right. Well, Kyle, listen, six out of your 11 wins by the Darce Choke. I want to say congratulations. Thank you. What, what some of the things do you remember about the fight? I mean, like I said, it was so odd because your submission happened right before the end of the bell. Tell me, you know, just a couple things you remember from the fight because what I remember, Kyle, is not just were you dominant and taking him down. It was obvious that your game plan was to use your jujitsu, but once again, you're striking. You softened him up with, with your hands, yeah. with some kicks. You you weren't just looking for submission. Your stand up, you softened him up to get to that position. So just tell me some thoughts. Your thoughts on the fight? Yeah, it was a good fight. Uh, I dominated from start to finish. Obviously, that's what we expected. Uh, we expected him to kind of be. Uh, a little stagnant on top and uh, be hesitant in striking because guys are always worried about the takedowns. So as long as you can get them thinking that you're going to strike and get the takedowns, it always works. Now, a couple days later, you're right back in the gym. <clears throat> yep. Who were who you, who you working on to get ready for camp now? Who's in camp? Uh, we got Pat and Matt are fighting in April. My brother's fighting in March. A bunch of other guys are fighting that are here right now, but they'll be in later tonight, and it's, uh, it's going to be a great, great start to the year for the guys. Well, listen, your fight went quickly. Now, do you think, you know, 
how many more months would we, what would be the perfect scenario for you? Would you like to get a fight in three months? Would you like to get a call on a short notice? Because you, you're always in shape now. I mean, you guys, one of the things that both you and your brother have really gone next level on is your strength and conditioning. I know you never have a lot of weight to cut. Your yeah. brother, obviously a heavyweight, yeah, yeah, he yeah, can yeah, eat right. whatever he wants and, 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 and you know, but uh, what do you think? How long uh, until yeah. you? Uh, anytime in May is fine. My brother is fighting in March. Um, as long as I get a full camp, I'm good. So maybe May 14th or something after that, I'm, I'm good to go. Can't wait, Kyle, man. The Darce Knight. I don't know if that name will stick regionally. We're going to call Hopefully him that. Hopefully it does. He does. Oh, he likes it. You hear that? Like you hear it, that? You hear like that, it, Mike Bickings? Like the Dark. And with the Martinez up in the sun. Oh, I love yeah, it, yeah. man. I'll right, we'll move over to Patrick the Brick Brady, who set me up tonight. What's going on, brother? How you feeling? Main event, April 1st. How you feeling, man? Live casino. You took a visit over there. You were in the hot spot. Your face is on the billboard. How you feeling? I feel good. I'm ready to go. Uh, I just get anxious, and I want to get out there and fight and compete and show off. Well, you know what? I think really doesn't it really help you having you know, listen, top ten UFC heavyweight in the room with you. And he's in camp. He's fighting a week before yeah. you. So you guys are like really on the same schedule for these two fights. That's got to yeah, really be a big help. It seems to be that's the way it's falling. Is that you know I fight or Chris fights right right around the same time. It, it's been within a three four week time period where um, we're basically getting each other ready and. I say getting each other ready. It's more just Chris beating the brakes off of me. But, uh, you know, I'm here. I'm trying to learn as much as I can from these guys. And I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be uh, part of this team and work with these guys and, you know, learn from the best. Essentially, that's what that's what I get to do, learn from the best. All right, well, I'll be back in a couple of weeks to talk to you about your fight one-on-one, -on -one, brother. Once again, take a look around the room. By the way, the uh, I got here and, listen, this isn't just, this isn't just a fight gym. That mat was packed with kids, packed solid. Women, children, come check out Martinez BGJ in Northeast Philly. Like I said, family atmosphere. It's not just about fighters. It's for everybody. You want to improve your life. You want to get in better shape. You want to live a healthy lifestyle. Come here. It'll be the best movie ever made.